One of the bones that comprises the skull is known as the ethmoid. The ethmoid is an irregular spongy bone that is cubical in shape. The name ethmoid originates from the term ethmos, which is a Greek term meaning sieve. The ethmoid is one of the seven bones that make up the orbit. The ethmoid bone is located anteriorly and inferiorly to the frontal bone, forming part of the cranial floor, posterior to the nasal bone, between both of the orbits. No other bone in the body articulates with as many bones as the ethmoid. The 13 bones that the ethmoid articulates with are the frontal, sphenoid, vomer, inferior nasal conchi, maxillae, palatines, lacrimals, and nasals. There are three primary structural parts of the ethmoid. These are the cribriform plate, the perpendicular plate, and the ethmoidal labyrinth, also called the lateral masses. The cribriform plate attaches to the ethmoidal notch, which is a structure on the frontal bone. The cribriform plate has a median crest known as the crista galli, which serves as an attachment site for the fibrous tissue known as the falx cerebri. The cribriform plate supports the olfactory bulb and has many olfactory foramina, which transmit the olfactory nerves. These nerves are important for one's sense of smell. The perpendicular plate makes up part of the nasal septum. The septum divides the nose into right and left passages. Each lateral mass of the ethmoid houses the superior and middle nasal concha. The conchi are also known as turbinate bones because they help direct the airflow around the epithelial tissue responsible for filtration, humidification, and warmth of the air that passes through. This is achieved because surrounding the turbinates are temperature and pressure receptors embedded in ciliated mucosal epithelia that is also erectile and vascular. Other important aspects of the ethmoid bone are the ethmoidal sinuses also known as the ethmoidal air cells. These are part of the paranasal sinuses and have cells that produce mucus which drain into the nasal cavity. This assists the nasal cavity in warming the air on the way to the lungs. They also protect the eyes from damage that can be caused by blunt trauma to the face. This is due to the horizontal and vertical facial framework known as bone buttresses, which are the protective shock absorbing structures of the paranasal sinuses. Injury to the ethmoid can be very serious. The cribriform plate of the ethmoid is embedded in the frontal bone, therefore in close proximity to the cerebrum. If broken with blunt force, the ethmoid can break through the frontal bone and injure the brain, which can lead to infection. When cerebrospinal fluid leaks through the nose, it indicates brain damage. Ethmoid bone injury can also affect the senses of smell and taste by damage to the olfactory nerves. Interestingly, as a believed evolutionary remnant, the ethmoid contains tiny deposits of magnetite. This is the mineral iron oxide, which is magnetic and similar to those found in fish and birds who use it for biomagnetic navigation. 
This fact, along with other unique structural characteristics of the ethmoid and its relationship with some of our senses, points to the significance of the ethmoid bone.